There's nothing wrong with you. No. That's cool. It's totally fine. Thanks for being here anyway. You know what I mean? Unless you just got forced into it. Or someone told you you were going to see Neil Diamond and then you showed up here and they're like, What? Who are those guys? Uh, we're going to play one more off the new record. The last song on the record. It's called Someday. It's kind of a song that, um, kind of a song that you need a lot of air to sing, so Sarah wouldn't be able to sing it. She has the asthma. Yeah. She has the asthma. My mom called, or texted me. My mom and I, like, like, we sent, like, 80 texts back and forth the other night. It was crazy time. Eventually, like, at one point I was like, we have been texting for, like, two hours. What is happening? Why don't people talk on the phone anymore? Um, and I know why, because my phone sucks shit, so it's not worth talking about. But anyway, so my mom and I were texting back and forth because she was concerned we're going to get H1N1. <laughs> Which is a valid concern. Um, you know, we touch a lot of people. We travel all day long and then we use public washrooms pretty much consistently until bedtime. And, um, and in general, we're just weak. We're very little. And, um, and then, of course, there's the obvious Sarah has the asthma. And um, so my mom was concerned that H1N1 would strike Sarah. So it's not funny. But I don't know why it makes me laugh every time I think about it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. You know what's so funny? We've been talking a lot about, um, not the end of the world per se, but just the end of this part of the world, because... Which no, doesn't mean New York. I don't mean New York, I mean, um, I mean the world. You know, I think, like, in the next couple... Oh, <laughs> I never, ever... Really? I knew it, because I was so, I was being really funny. And I'm you interrupted funny. it to talk to everybody about Armageddon. No. Really? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not, I swear. I'll be funny. Lillian. You're gonna upset everybody. Don't. Do you remember? You're in all black. It's it's like. You're, please turn off Tegan's mic. You're like the Reaper right now. I'm not. It's gonna be. Lily. It's gonna be okay. It'll be remember? fast apparently. So. Do you remember when at the beginning of the show, I asked you to monitor behavior of people? Do you feel like Tegan's been a little aggressive? I feel like perhaps she needs a, maybe needs some okay, time. Okay, fine. You tell them all about how we'll all be dead in 20 years. I'm no. so excited to hear that. No, what I what I've been act. This is true. This is a true story. I've been really thinking about like whether I was meant to survive in in troubled times. <laughs> and uh, it's not sad. It's funny. Listen, let me tell you why. Just let me finish. Oh, even the security guys are like this. I'm just tell them. Fine, just I don't care. Get back into the area. Spread the good news. Can we bring the lights down a little bit? Perhaps even a spot on me. Um, <laughs> I'll be brief. I will be brief. This is not a... This is... I can't hear you really because I'm deaf in this ear. And so it's best if Tegan's not up by the microphone. You shouldn't talk at me because I probably can't hear you and it's not because I'm rude. It's, well, I'm rude, but it's not specifically because I'm rude. Um, so I, d I just think that, in, and this is not about green or anything or saving the world or recycling or whatever. It's, not, it's nothing to do with that. I just think that our, uh, we're all going to see um, a change in the next dozen to two dozen years. That's a weird way to say that. In the next 20 to 25 years. And, uh, and I'm not sure that being a musician, for example, will be relevant unless you live in a small village in northern Canada and you just bring out the guitar sometimes just to make people happy when you're struggling through the long, cold winters without electricity. And I... I mean, that might be what I use to trade for goods, you know? Uh, like, like, I would be the traveling... <laughs> like, I would show up in my parka, in my snowshoes, and... I think it's supposed to get warmer, so I think I've already fucked up this story. I think the whole point is that I'll be in a bathing suit, and my my extremely my extremely easily burned flesh will be very red, <laughs> and I will show up, and I will show up to to trade for food with my songs, and um, 
And I just want you all to know that we may go through that together. We, we may not go through that together, that, that time, that change in the time. But, um, but I just want you all to know that I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm not the kind of person who's going to fight for survival. If this shiz gets messed up, I'm fine to go. I don't want to camp, camp for the rest of my life. I'm not interested. I, I'm not. I'm just, I'm really, really not. I'm not really good in those kind of conditions. And so I just want to wish you all the best if that happens. I, I really do. Don't cry for me. Don't even think of, don't even wonder to yourself, where is Sarah? Just know that I'm probably not anywhere watching down on you. But let's just say that I was. I wish you all the best. And I hope that whatever skills that you've managed to, um, that you, whatever skills you've managed to sharpen, I hope that they're, I hope they're relevant and, and they help you find food and shelter in the future. <laughs> and Tegan, I give you full permission to use what's left of me for a coat or a shelter. Or... <laughs> that was really fucked up. The only way I'm going to make it is if this security guard, if you come with me through life and protect me. I can see how tough you are. Like, you could probably break some trees down and build me a shelter, wouldn't you? Yeah, you could. She seriously believes that. I'm going to do my best to erase all of that with this next one.